Hello, sports fan. This is Steven here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Jacksonville Jaguars, taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into the mix. Looking at the game, Jacksonville left a lot of opportunities and a lot of points on the board against the Baltimore Ravens. Not only the debacle in the first half where they literally left the clock run out when they had a chance to score within the goal line, but just opportunities where they could have gotten easy first downs. They could have hit easy targets, but they didn't. Baltimore Ravens defense did a great job of confusing them. They also did a great job of adding pressure to Trevor Lawrence. It wasn't always a sack. It wasn't always uh, a, a hit. It was always the speeding up the clock and making Trevor do what he did not want to do, making him uncomfortable in the pocket and always having somebody come and try to blitz, no matter if it was a corner, no matter if it was a safety, no matter if it was a linebacker. Baltimore ultimately got him off his spot and didn't let him get comfortable all night long. You saw what Lamar Jackson did, and they were able to get the big victory. Tampa Bay surprised a lot of people because Baker Mayfield was looking like the old Baker Mayfield of old from Oklahoma. Being able to throw multiple touchdowns, being able to get his guys involved, being able to stumble and stymie the Packers. The Packers are also known for having a better run game than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but you got to think in this one, Baker Mayfield got going early. He hit his receivers up early, and he started cooking different cornerbacks for the Packers. It didn't matter that they rolled coverage over to different sides. It didn't matter that they double teamed to certain sides. He was hitting guys up and it didn't matter. He was going to the open target. And that's what you want to see from a quarterback. Sometimes he leans too much on Mike Evans. Sometimes he leans too much on Godwin, but you're seeing him start to mature and go to that third option, that fourth option on the route tree. So in this one here, it's going to be a tough matchup because both these teams are talented, but you got to think. The hot hand right now is with Tampa. And I'll tell you this why. Baker, Mayfield, and company have a chance to win the NFC South. They have something to play for. So do the Jaguars. But the Jaguars' tests coming up the next couple weeks are a lot tougher than Tampa's right now. you got to think, with beating the Atlanta Falcons, with beating the, the Packers, with beating different teams, they're stacking up these wins. And even though they may get demolished when they get to the playoffs, they're still trying to make this a successful season. Making the playoffs would be success for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Winning the NFC South would be something without Tom Brady. So you're looking at this here. I give the edge right now to Baker Mayfield because he's playing better as a quarterback. Trevor Lawrence is struggling a little bit because the play calling, the inconsistencies, the time uh, farts in your head when you're not getting the play calls in and you're not doing stuff right. That's right now has to be fixed. So I'm going with Tampa in this one. I'm going with my head, not with my heart. I'm picking Tampa to pull the upset over the Jaguars in this one. I still think it's going to be a great game. Both these quarterbacks are pretty good. What do you think? Jaguars fans, Buccaneers fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and I'll see you in the very next video.